I'm ready for you. I'm gonna let my publicist pick. I don't know who any of you are. I'm sorry. Hi. Hi, Adele. Hi. Congratulations, Thank Steve Futterman from CBS News. Hello. I know you don't perform to win, okay. but you've won tonight. Mm -hmm. You become the first artist in history. I don't know if you know the historic aspect of it to sweep he did not the top to three say awards, that. record, song, and album of the year twice. Yes. An amazing achievement, which I yeah. think everyone appreciates you for. Can you talk about what it means to you to accomplish something historic and just what it means to you to, to win these awards tonight? Because I mean, it's a, from your peers. Yeah, well, I mean, the Grammys means a lot to me. Obviously, it's kind of the award show. So I'm very, very humbled. And um, that accomplishment, um, I feel very lucky um, to have achieved. Um, like I said in my speech, for me, my album of the year was Lemonade. Um, so a piece of me did die inside as a, as a Beyonce stan, I'm not going to lie, because um, I was completely rooting for her. I voted for her. Um, but I'm incredibly humbled, especially being from the UK. You know, it's, it's in a, it is an amazing feat to have achieved. So I am, I am incredibly humbled by it. And America have always been very, very kind to me. And I don't even know why, to be honest. I don't get it. But no, I feel amazing about it, of course, and it's an amazing thing to show my son, you know, and I'm raising him to respect women, and he knows I'm a powerful force. He feels it just at home, like you, let alone, you know, when he comes to work with me and he comes everywhere, so. Yeah. And could I just a follow-up about what it means just to have the public accept this song, Hello, oh my God, it's seriously? become like a worldwide anthem. It was hard work writing this album, you know, it was daunting following 21 up. Um, sorry, I'm looking only at him, I should probably look at all of you. Um, I felt the pressure writing 25 very, very much. Um, and for a very long time during that process, I didn't really find my voice. Um, and I don't know if I did find it, even towards the end. Um, but the reception to Hello, Hello actually started when I was writing it with the lyric Hello Misery. So I'm sure you can imagine the mood that I was in <laughs> when I was writing that. <laughs> Fucking miserable. But, um, you know, it developed and Greg Kirsten, who I wrote, was like, mm, not sure about that line. I don't know about Hello Misery. That's a bit weird. So he changed it to Hello, It's Me. <laughs> but um, yeah, of course, you know, it was, I honestly didn't, I was gone for so long. I had my baby and I raised him through the toddler years. And then I sort of slowly edged my way back into work. Um, and I didn't think anyone would care. Um, but no, of course, I, I'm always, always um, appreciative um, of all of the love that I'm shown. Yeah. Thank you for your question.